Laziness. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Hi, Louise, Gina, Jackie, Kim, Amy, Janet, Dana, Sarah, Ooh, hello, everyone. Tanya, Don, Lana, Mindy. Good to see all of you here and everyone else who hasn't checked in yet, but here. is here. You want a pepperoni? Nom. <laughs> here. Oh, here. We're we could be like, um, what's it called? Lady in the Tramp. Mmm. <laughs> Is that so sweet? You yep. know what? Ripping pepperonis. Uh oh. Pepperonis. Somebody's saying gross on here. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure they Ew, will. Gross. We're married, so it's okay. All right. <laughs> Today. I want to pick up some sickness from Ireland. Today we are making homemade calzones. Ooh, Vegan. yum. Ah. Hi, Turid, Patricia, and Marisol. Angie. Had a guy Sit. cut in front of me at the line at school, and I have not calmed down yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> he cut me. <laughs> All right. All right. Are we on YouTube, Jack, David, yes, whoever are. you are? Okay. So today we're making homemade calzones. They are on page calzones on page one hundred and twenty, right here in Dining on a Dime Cookbook. Dining on a Dime Cookbook, can you put the link in there, you wonderful thing, you... Oops, uh, sure, I just shared the link for the calzones, but I will Page share Page 120 in the, in the book. Now, these are actually just pizza that's folded up, or pizza pocket. Oh, you should have put homemade pizza pocket, too, slash pizza pocket Wait, for the title. Wait, is this like one of those hot pockets? Like huh? Just... What? Do you know what hot pockets are? Dave? Yes. Are we... Oh, oops, we're on the wrong channel here. Mm -mm. Um, calzones. Oh dear, do we set it up on how to make soap? No, it's just you're on how to make soap, so I was wondering where oh. all the comments were. <laughs> that Sorry. Was okay, Thanks, page everybody who's saying glad I'm back. 218, right here. So we're using the pizza dough recipe in Dining on a Dime on page 218 to make calzones. And the spaghetti sauce recipe is on page 217 if you want to make homemade and not... Store-bought. Now, store-bought is like a buck, guys. It's not worth it to make it homemade anymore. But if you want to make it homemade, go for it. I'm sure somebody will want to do that. Now, Kayton wants to know if you guys liked going over to Ireland. Sorry. We did. It was. We had a great time. Whoops. Sorry about that. Cheryl asked, how was the food? Did we like it? Yes, but I'm not sure how much traditional Irish food we had. I said that it was mostly American food. Well, it was it was a lot of the similar stuff to what we have here. Uh, there were some very traditional things that we didn't have, but so I put my yeast in some warm water, about a hundred and ten degrees, or uh, one hundred and ten to one hundred twenty degrees is what you need to get your yeast activated. Okay, so I've got that stirred in there now. While I'm waiting for my yeast to poof up, which I'll show you how it does. Dave, can you point down, please? Uh -huh. You are now, it's pointing down. Okay, so then in my other bowl, I'm That's or better. in my bowl, I'm gonna add my sugar, bloop, and my salt, and I just guesstimate. But if you're not a guesstimator, use a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> the world is a great place to guesstimate, isn't it? Yep. And then I'm going to add my oil. And then if you want to add spices, you can add crushed garlic. You could add oregano, you could add basil, thyme, any of those things. I am using powdered garlic and onion powder because I'm going to make these into breadsticks for the Dave Meister behind the scenes. No, they're not breadsticks, they're pizza. No, I'm making oh, breadsticks. 
Wait, because is that what breadsticks are? Just that's what breadsticks are, it's just pizza dough. So I'm mixing all this in. Can they see what I'm doing, Dave? Yeah, they can. Oh, we're just really behind on our feet. For some reason, we never see it right in this one. So okay. Like that. Um, all right, so I just mix those together. You don't have to. All right, now, can you point super, super down, Dave? Can they see this? Yep, now they can. Now, you're going to watch your yeast, but see, excuse me, you handsome dude, you. <laughs> okay, can you guys see down in here? Now I can. I still don't know if they can see. Let's what, see. Dear, what you're seeing is five minutes behind. I know. So but I don't want to be pointing to stuff that's... Okay. Did so... I hear that we're making breadsticks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that would be super yummy? Are you excited? Them, they're for days. Okay, so you can see right here, see these little bubbles starting right there? And how these little really white difficult. bubbles are kind of bubbling up? Can you kind of see that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you want that to just keep coming and getting bigger and bigger. So it takes about five minutes or so for the yeast to get going, which I should have started some ahead of time, but I was not thinking with my brain. I wasn't thinking with my brain. So we're gonna let this sit for just a minute and then we're gonna proceed on. So a number of people are asking us if we still have snow or if it's still snowing. It was 75 or 80 degrees today. That's the beauty of Colorado. It will snow in April and the next morning it's gone. It snowed like crazy and now it's sunny yep. and we don't need sweaters. <laughs> so much so that I had to water the yard this morning for my new grass seed. See, I need to learn from Bandana how to sweet talk you. She says you look absolutely fetching in that sweet apron, Tara. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See, she's got it down. So I'll have to call you for some pointers, Bandana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the yeast is getting there, but it's taking just a couple of minutes. Yes. So Cayetan, we we did like it a lot. We really loved Ireland, especially we were on the Dingle Peninsula for a while in a really remote area, right on the ocean in a farmhouse with sheep. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. We really, really enjoyed it. Ooh, should I bring, okay, my, what should do I bring you, my sweatshirt? What do you want to tell them? Yeah, you can show me your shirt. What do you want to tell them? So, this morning, there was a bird outside on the grass seed taking the seeds. I know. He was eating my grass. How dare he eat his breakfast as my grass? What should we do? Should we have bird stew? No, we'll let him eat our grass seed, won't we? I put extra out. Uh-oh, Donna says I send a box to you, but please open it over the trash can because there's a lot of torn up paper and you'll curse me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the warning, Donna. So Dave wants to show you guys his sweatshirt he got. Doesn't he look cool? Actually, He was wearing my hat the other day, too. He took it right off. <laughs> I yep. like better like this. He's looking like a pretty cool dude there. With the unzipped. So a couple people, Louise and, uh, Louise and Natalie, both asked if Ellie tried the Vegemite. She, she did. did and she said, this stuff is nasty. <laughs> so Natalie, she was with you. So here's how much she tried of it. Right there, she tried that much. <laughs> and she said, this stuff is nasty. Okay, let me rinse my I forgot hands. who it was who was warning me not to kiss the Blarney Stone, but the day that we were going to do the Blarney Stone, we were driving. It was the first day I had been driving, and we ended up going around and around in circles in Cork for an hour and a half. <laughs> and finally, when we figured out how to get out of that, we thought, let's just go to Kinsale, which is the next the town where we were going that night, and, uh, and stop looking for the Blarney Castle. <laughs> Okay, so now my yeast has poofed up, and I should probably let it go a little bit longer, but for time's sake, I'm not going to. And I'm stirring it with my other stuff. And then I'm gonna add about half of my flour, just regular all-purpose flour, and stir it in. Now, if you'd rather, you can use our two ingredient, Michael has a link. Oh, wait, for what? Pizza dough. Pizza dough. Two ingredient pizza dough. Oh, this smells good. These are going to be good breadsticks. 
Okay, so you just start mixing until you get a oh, stiff man, dough. Does smell good. Yum. Just, just for people who are wondering, um, me and Dad are both on the Living on a Diamond account, so if, it, if we both if suddenly two messages fly on the screen at the same time. One might be from Dave, and one might be from man, Dad. Man, it smells awesome. Okay, so that's what you want it to look like. Ooh, then awesome. you take a little bit of flour and sprinkle it in. And start kneading it. Now, can they see what I'm doing here? Okay. Yeah. So, I knead in the bowl. I don't make this huge old mess on the counter. I knead in the bowl. You can knead however you want, but you lift it over, push it down, lift it over, push it down, lift it over, push it down. Sprinkle a little bit more, lift it over, push it down, lift it over, push it down, lift it over, push it down. Okay. So, the trick is to mix in the flour until you have a smooth dough. So if your dough sticks to your hands, like it is here, see how it's kind of sticking? Then you need more flour. In case everybody's wondering, Sue emailed me from England and she made it home safe and sound, her and her husband. She's having jet lag issues, she said. <laughs> uh, she's shattered. She's shattered, yes. She forgot shattered. what else the other word she used. Sue kept telling Ellie she was shattered. <laughs> oh, I totally don't do her accent at all, but. Okay, so now you just do this. I don't know. You're supposed to do it like five minutes. I don't usually do it that long because I don't have the umption, but. Jamie says in all caps, where are your gloves? If you like everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Give me a thumbs up if I am not the only person who cooks with her hands. My word, people. Seriously, do you really put on gloves to cook for your family? This oh, is not a restaurant. Is going by. No, no, no. Ugh. It's not a restaurant. It's not a it's restaurant. Your it's your family. You're right. See, Jack, even a seven-year-old's figured this out, people. Okay, now take a sniff. Doesn't that oh, smell man, that delicious? Smells really good. Okay, so now I rise it in the same bowl. I spritz the top with oil and spritz the top with oil. Now, I'm gonna let it rise for about um this has been rising for about 30, 40 minutes, okay? Until it's double in size. Oh, Louise wanted to know if it's plain flour, not self-rising. Yes, it is plain flour if you're making the original pizza dough recipe, which Mike will put up there. If you are using the two ingredient pizza dough recipe, it is not self, it is self-rising flour, not all purpose. So regular pizza dough, all-purpose flour, two-ingredient pizza dough, self-rising flour, okay? Did I make that clear enough? Okay, so now you're going to start rolling it out into a circle and try to get a nice, neat circle. And I liberally add flour so that it doesn't stick. Oh, Brenda says hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Sure miss seeing you. Glad you're here, Brenda. Wow. And Phyllis just checked in. So if you guys are on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button with the little bell next to it. If you don't hit the little bell, you are not going to be notified that we are on or when we put up a new video, which is once a day. If you are on Facebook, please click like and then go to notifications and click notify me and it will notify you, okay? All right, Dave, what kind did you guys want? You and Jack? I just wanted Thanks everybody cheese. who's welcoming me back. Yeah. You want just cheese or cheese and pepperoni? Just cheese, please. Okay, so then you put a little bit of your sauce on here. Why can't this be just pizza? I don't want any cheese, I just want bread. Oh, the calzones are yummy, Dave. And Dave, calzones are just a pizza that's, oh, I did this wrong. Oh! Oh, Tara. Okay, so normally before I put on my pizza sauce and stuff, I get it on my pan because it's a little difficult to move the calzone. So, ugh. Mom, I only wanted just the breadsticks regular. You just want breadsticks, I see. Okay, so now this is going to be very interesting. Can we do this? Da, 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 da. 
Oh my goodness, I really feel like Lucy now. Oh my, what a mess. Oh, Tara Jean. Why don't you just put the stuff on it and then tip the other half over without moving it back on there? Like I do with an omelet. Oh, come on. Why do you have to use your brain? <laughs> it's cheating, Dad. That's cheating. Yes. Okay. So follow my advice. <laughs> if you forget to put it on first, thank you, my love. You're welcome. <gasps> Is it Amy's anniversary? You handsome hunk of burning love. Oh, you. Amy T says it's her second wedding anniversary. Well, Congratulations, happy anniversary. Amy. Bandana grandma says no pizza pan, they won't Well, if you have a pizza pan, use a pizza pan. I don't have a pizza pan because I just don't have enough kitchen space. Okay, so then if you want, you can add olives or pepperoni, onions, peppers, pineapple. sausage, pineapple and Canadian bacon, pineapple and ham. Do we have any Whatever you want to put on here. But Dave just wants cheese. Because Dave's a cheese kind of a guy. And if you had Canadian bacon, I'd want that too. Uh-oh. I Wendy, didn't know. Wendy says Ellie probably won't like Marmite either. <laughs> okay, put a little bit more on there. All right, so now, boop. Oh, see how well that worked? See, that's what happens with the, the uh, omelet professional who doesn't eat omelets. <laughs> so... So then you just take and squeeze, see how I'm squeezing here? And just pinch and squeeze and pinch and squeeze and pinch and squeeze. And there's a piece that kind of got a little too big. So pinch and squeeze, pinch and squeeze. And pinch and squeeze. And this one goes under because I just messed up. Okay, so now, okay, well that's not looking the prettiest, but whatever. <laughs> There's a lot of joking around about the gloves happening. Amy says I made my chicken parm bites without gloves. I used this stuff called soap and water when I was done. <laughs> what a concept, huh? Although somebody else is talking about it. she uses gloves for hamburger because she doesn't like the feel of the meat. <laughs> that's a good reason. Well, that's fine for something like that, but yeah, my word. Tip for if you're rushing. Now normally I swipe off the rest of the flour so that it doesn't burn. Now. You're gonna let this rise mm -hmm. for another 30 minutes or so. And then, it's almost done in the oven and I will show you what it looks like. You let it rise and then you bake it in the oven. Now, one tip for rising stuff, if you turn your oven on and let it get just a little warm, just so that it's barely like 100 degrees. warm, like around 100 to 120 degrees, it will make your yeast things that you're cooking, um, it will make them rise faster. You can pull the camera back up, Dave. Oh, Jamie says, uh, I know we're leaving, living cheaply, but you can buy, if you're in a hurry, you can buy a ball of dough from Keith's places for one, two dollars. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, Lynn says, so good to see you guys working together again. Hello. Thank you. So... This recipe costs, depending on, did you pull the camera? Okay. Yeah. Depending on what you put in it. My pizza one cost me, I used a half a thing of this, so that was 75 cents. So it probably cost me about a dollar 25 for my pizza, well, dollar 50. I added onions and peppers and olives for Mike. So it was about a dollar 50 for a large calzone, which I'm going to pull out here in just a minute. It's almost cooked. For cheese one, it's probably around a dollar. So that would give you an idea why spend $15, $20 for a calzone from Pizza Hut. But you can make your own for a dollar fifty. What if it's from Ireland? Hmm? Oh yeah, that's really expensive in those places, BJ. What if it's from Ireland and it's your first Irish food and you want to eat calzone? The calzone isn't really Irish I food, although... I don't think they'll have calzones in Ireland. Well, actually... Oh, never mind. Sorry. Ellie and I went to this restaurant and on a day that we were really in the mood to try a lot of traditional food. So we were there and we were looking, there were Americans there and there were Irish people there. And the Americans were asking for traditional things and the Irish people were eating lasagna and pizza and hamburgers. 
<laughs> I was just thinking it was kind of funny. So you guys can see for a dollar fifty and about not even ten minutes worth of work, I made a really nice calzone for a buck fifty. 10, 15 minutes worth of work. I don't count baking time because I can do other things while I'm baking. Denise says, hi. Hi, everyone. I can only be here about 10 minutes. Glad you checked in, Denise. Good to see you. Uh, I wasn't looking at comments yesterday, so I don't know for sure who was okay. here. <laughs> yeah, uh, apparently, Ashley said tornado warning until 10 p.m. here, and a lot uh -oh. of people are saying Texas is really getting it. So I'm sorry, Texas. Yeah. Timber guy in Thank you for watching we... us in your tornado shelter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a little story about that. One time, Jill was in uh, Kansas, and I forgot, I think her TV went out or something, but her internet was still on, and she was hiding in the closet in the basement, and she was calling us, and we were watching the news in Kansas and Skyping it to her from here. We were watching the Kansas news on the internet, and... We were talking to mom on Skype, telling the, her where. Well, you said it wrong. What? Watching the news on the TV, Skyping her on the internet, and then showing her. No, we were watching on the computer. We can't watch Kansas news here. It's no. too far away. Oh, man. But if it's really major, like the Texas hmm. thing. Louise yeah, wants wrong. to know if you can eat the calzones. I cannot. <laughs> Although, <laughs> weren't you wondering if the gluten free was actually your issue? I don't know, I'm trying to decide if gluten is actually my issue, or maybe I've healed my intestines enough that I don't have to worry about it anymore, or as much. I'm not sure. I thought she meant is it edible. I ate a, much, a bunch of gluten this weekend as a test, and last night I slept like I was sleeping with the devil. Oh my word. Well, I was there, so... <laughs> Just... I was tossing and turning. I was having these weirdo dreams. It was crazy. Heather wants to know if you ever got a North Carolina magnet. I did. Thank you. Yes, I did. And I do have a couple magnets, but my calzone's almost done. Or I think they're magnets. They're packages. So. Don't we have every state now? What? David and Jeannie said, joke for Jack. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cows go. Hey, I already know this one. <laughs> oh, how's the rest of it go? Cows, cows go who? No, they don't. Cows go moo. Oh, wow. <laughs> he heard it before. <laughs> Actually, I told them it. Oh, you told them it. No. I see. Did you tell okay. them about why why six was afraid of seven? No. Because seven, seven eight, eight, nine. nine. Oh. Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, step back. BJ's got his plate over here. He thinks he's hungry or something. Wait, so these are basically oh, cheeseburger yay. rolls, but in the shape, in the taste of... Pizza. Pizza. Dude, we, I hated making these with Pizza Plus so much. <laughs> okay, now does mine, that mine, not mine, look mine. luscious? Whoa, mine. that oh, looks... Mine. Careful, careful. It's hot. Did you get so, touched? Did yeah. you touch it? How long was that one cooking? So this one cooked uh, 25 minutes. So that's mine, Jack. You get the next one. Hey! <laughs> so that then is mine. I rub a little that's bit of butter of on it. I don't know if you'll want this one. It has green peppers on it. Oh, what? It has olives and green peppers on this one. Yes. Do you want to wait for the next one, which is just cheese? I thought Jake said you didn't want. Good day, Tanya. Okay, so I have the vultures here, so I guess I might as well cut it here. You guys, yes. are you starving? Oh, you got your two little pepperonis. Okay, so give this one just a little bit, and then this one is just cheese. Okay. It'll be about by the time the show is over or, or so. Okay, so BJ's got his plate over here. Uh, Linda wants to know. How much? I mean, not. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> like this? Okay, now normally I let this cool off a little bit. I like BJ cheese. just can't wait. But BJ can't wait, so. Oh! <gasps> oh! Look at that lusciousness. Oh, you touched it. Oh, stop it. Oh, that does look <laughs> delicious. Wow. <laughs> okay. There you go. Calzone. I need a fork. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wow, dear. BJ um, used to work at a pizza here. place, and he will say Mom's is just as good, I'm sure. Oh, this is disgusting. Mom. <laughs> stop. What? 
Linda Soderberg wants to know, did PG get his tests back? We have not got PG's tests back. And it'll Linda. be May 11th. We go back to the doctor and we will know what to do. Um, hmm. And Linda Mal Malnati wants to know, do you dehydrate? If so, could you tell me the best way as I like a, as I like a little chewiness but a little soft? I don't know what she means by that. What? It's weird. <laughs> she like Do I dehydrate? Grammar. Well, sometimes it's the cell phones don't oh. go through very well. Um, well, oh man, this is really smushing everywhere because it's just too hot. I was going to try and cut you a piece, but I'll have to wait, dear. That's okay. Um, oh, here, no, come over here. You must tell them. Tell them, tell them, tell them. It's good. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Mom, this is delicious. Not quite as good as Pizza Plus, but. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's delicious. You turkey. You better watch it. I may not be driving you to the doctor anymore. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I know you don't want to, but you're going anyway. Um, okay, so let's see what goodies we got in the mail today. So, Susan said, Miss Petunia is on the table watching you. I think that's her cat. <laughs> Janice says, great to see Mike back. A lot of people were, thank you. It's good to be back. You were missed. Yay. We actually kind of sneakily watched a little bit of a few episodes although man i really have an appreciation for all the people in the uk and in europe because it's really hard watching the show at midnight <laughs> i don't see how people stay up if you ask me and uh janine said update on my knee surgery i'm doing great walking without hurting and no limping anymore and it's only been two weeks <gasps> feel great good job yay that janine okay so today we got in the mail and it has no name, so I don't know who it was from. Well, let me... But oh. whoever sent me Grand Rapids, Michigan. Let me see. Wow. Isn't that cool? That, I love the really old nice. fashioned ones. Like the old postcard looking I ones. love all those old postcards. I just think those are so cool. Okay, so now this. Oh, sorry, about the recipe. Jeffrey was asking Karen. if you don't put on ricotta cheese. I've you can had... if you want. Is that. I, for calzones? I have no idea. I'm not from New York. I don't know. And Louise wanted to know if it was tomato paste you used. Or tomato sauce. sauce. That's what I thought. Just regular tomato sauce. And I'm gonna, but yeah, ricotta cheese would be really good. I'm going to reshare the recipe here. What about clotted so, cream? Oh man, clotted cream. We got clotted cream from oh, Mike yeah, and Ellie nice. brought and oh, that stuff was good. We brought it on the airplane. We went the morning as we were about to get on the plane. We went to Tesco, went in and got a thing of clotted cream and we wrapped it up in clothes so it would stay cold as possible. Although man, it was like 85 degrees below zero as we flew over Greenland. <laughs> oh, thank you, Karen. Okay, Karen, this is kind of freaky. Whose handwriting does that look like? What? Looks like your mom. You know, doesn't it look just like mom's handwriting? Yeah. Whoa. She sent us oh. a Michigan. Oh, oh cool. cool. What? what if Nan was going Isn't to that cool? Oh. Oh, look at that cool Michigan magnet. So in case you guys are wondering, we were collecting magnets for my sister-in-law who loves refrigerator magnets. Loves. And we have all the states now. I mean, if you want to send them, you can still. And sometime early summer, we're hoping we can go back to Wichita, maybe, and give those to her. Or if, if not, your mom could take them back. Yes, and then this came from Reverend Diane, is that Fight? I think. Reverend Diane Fight. She machine embroidered these for us. And they are the cutest little angels. What? She did on machines. Oh, wow. Huh? Those are Aren't cute. those pretty? Huh? Mm -hmm. They're little, they're little um, machine embroidered angels for all of us. Look at all of the pretty colors she sent us. Aren't those pretty? Thank you so much, they Diane. Are, they are really nice. So let's see, what's this one? Ooh, wow. Uh, Mom, this would be pretty as a little Christmas the tree. The oven is open? Yeah, I'm letting it cool off so we can raise the bread. Look at, this is the manger scene. How pretty. 
got all, oh my word, she's got tons of pretty pink, pretty ones here. Wow, those Aren't are those really pretty? nice. pretty? Yeah. Thank you so much. So I guess she sells these at craft fairs and craft shows, she said. Wow, So that's awesome. I know, I was really pleased. They are so, so pretty. Um, okay, let's see. And there's one more here. I pre kind of opened a little bit so it wouldn't take so long because her back her bag was her package was really sealed. And then here's two more. Aren't those cute? So pretty. Thank you so much, Diane. Oh, you explained why you left the oven door open, right? Should yeah, I, I left the oven door open because I'm cooling the oven off so that my next batch can rise a little bit quicker without baking. And so that is why it is still um, open. So anyway, uh. thank you so much. Let's see. Uh, I kind of messed up my order here. Yes. Um, someone said that the dough freeze well. Yes, you can make the dough ahead of time and just keep it in little balls and throw it in the freezer. And actually, Mindy earlier said I made the pizza dough and froze it a few weeks ago and took it out today and it was nice and puffy. Yep, and you just... And Tanya was asking about our address. I'm sharing it right now. Okay, so now that's warm enough to have a little bit of warmth, but not bake it yet because we just want it to poof up a little bit more. So. Let's see, are my breadsticks, my breadsticks ones aren't done yet. About five or so more minutes, I'll show you how I make my breadsticks. Barb was asking, is that recipe in the cookbook? Oh yes, Dining on a Dime cookbook here, page 120. <laughs> Jack, settle down, dude. <laughs> Calzones, right here, page 120 in Dining on a Dime cookbook. Yay, I just shared the link to the book. Be really good. What? If you made calzone and melted like a whole stick of butter, then put some garlic on it and spread that all over the inside and then close it up. That would Just be as super bread yummy. So yum. Patricia yeah, said delicious. they yes they do use ricotta in, to make calzones in New York. Of course she is. I'm sorry. We're from Colorado, from Kansas. We don't know how to make real New York pizza. If anybody wants to send us a New York or Chicago pizza, feel free to send them. I about died when my neighbor said she orders pizzas from Chicago. Oh, that's right. I and they that. put them on dry ice for her and ship them overnight. I was like, you pay 50 bucks for two little pizzas? She's like, oh, but it's so delicious. I don't know that the pizza is that delicious. Tracy's asking for the pretzel recipe. Is it brown sugar or granulated sugar? Uh, the pretzel recipe, unless it says brown sugar, it should just be regular. Uh, 82, pretzels on page 82. Yeah, your mom says if it says just sugar, then it's regular white sugar. Um, yeah, it's just, oh no, it's brown sugar. Is it? Yeah, it's brown sugar. I was going to say, I thought you used brown sugar in pretzels. Yeah, it's brown sugars. Oh, Jim wants to know if she can still get the cookbook. Yes, the cookbook is still in print. We have about 200 copies left. Thankfully, we didn't sell out while Mike was gone because I would have been in a pickle. But we have about 200 left, and then we are going to reprint them. But I can't guarantee we're not going to sell out before we get the next edition because it takes oh, eight man. weeks. It's probably going to take Michael two or three weeks to get the tur get the corrections made at the rate he's going starting today. Oh, Vilna, please don't <laughs> complain. Yeah. We're getting no rain apps at all. It was rain. You're lucky what? you're getting rain all night. Well, actually, Dave, maybe, maybe not. There was a couple of years ago we didn't get any rain. Well, a few years ago we didn't get any rain for all summer. And then I said, I'm never going to complain about rain again. And then we got massive floods that destroyed all the roads. So. Oh, well, true. So anyway. Yeah. Uh, oh, there were a bunch. Oh. Faye Fruto says, Mike and Tara, you two look so good together. God bless your marriage. Thank you. Aww. Yes, please pray for it. What? <laughs> well, I mean, it never hurts, but. <laughs> no, it's. You were glad I to see me back. Home. I was glad to come back. Yes. Yeah. Poor Mike. He got slammed today. We had major website issues. Oh, 
and he spent all day, he was going to be editing mom's videos, which they're going to come out tomorrow, don't worry, one's coming out tomorrow no matter what. It is? It is. <laughs> I was trying to get our website, but... our website was really, really lagging today, and I was trying to figure out why, because something apparently happened while I was gone, and it was a little know. tricky. So, good enough for it. Hey, Gavin. Says it would have been great to have eaten with locals at home. Did Mike and Ellie eat traditional foods on the sheep farm? We didn't. We had the opportunity, although it, it was an Airbnb, and he he said that he does, if you want to do a traditional dinner, he'll do it. But it was like 20, pound, 20 euros a person to do it. And oh I thought, goodness. whoa. And of course, then later we thought, maybe we should have done that. But the funny I don't thing know. Is, you might have been scared what you were eating. Well, what's funny is there was a German family there, and she, little baby lambs are on, and everybody's petting the baby lambs, and, and he made them uh, Irish stew, and, and they're like, what meat is this? And he said, it's lamb. And she said, are these, like, the, the ones we were He said, well, it wasn't the same one. <laughs> but he said, it is lamb. So. <laughs> you want to come see if you have any offers for dates? Uh. So come over, can you come, actually, can you come over here? Because guess what I got today? Hand that paper right there. Linda wanted to know if you dehydrate, and if so, can you tell her the best way, as she yep. says, as I like a little chewiness, but also a little soft. Oh, that's what that dehydrating question was. Um, we use our Excalibur dehydrator. Mike can get you a link to the one we have on Amazon. Okay. Um, they did send us one for a review, but what? four or five years ago, several years ago, and it works really, really well. That's what we use. I don't know how you make it, that's the one. I don't know how you make it chewy, but that's what we use. Okay, so let's see. Oh wait, this has all my personal yeah. information on it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> so let's so do it this way. Later. Okay, there's nothing personal in there, right? Yeah, okay. There's is that number gonna matter, maybe? I have no idea. Okay. Here. <laughs> so look what I got in the mail today. Dun dun dun! Signs for jury service. <laughs> jury duty! So, Ellie and BJ were joking <laughs> So, I was telling Mike, I said, if I get um, summoned for jury duty, they're just gonna be really like... <laughs> Can you imagine? Tara going in and the, the attorney's reviewing the people and they're asking her a question. Can you imagine when the defense attorney's there and she just kind of slaps the table? <laughs> guilty! <laughs> so then, what was it you said? How did you say it if mom goes on? Okay, so I don't remember who asked for the uh, dehydrator link, but I'm sharing it. Oh, there. Ellie said, Ellie said, I told her, I said, I should tell them this will make great content for my YouTube channel. And Ellie said, you know, like she had the camera and... She was like, yeah, man, this guy, he's a deep dookie. <laughs> <laughs> and then BJ said, guess who's the murderer? <laughs> <laughs> Could you see me doing that? Oh, my goodness. I was just imagining if you said, oh, I have a YouTube show, they would say, okay, you're dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should have a YouTube show. I think I should tell them that, don't you? I'm gonna ask. Yeah, I'm gonna ask my viewers who they think is guilty. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh um, my word! So the thing is, though, they want me to come in in June. So who knows if we're gonna be at the Mayo Clinic or not? I'll take the fine over BJ missing the Mayo Clinic if I can't get out of it. But oh, thank you, Tina. Tina said really missed you, Mike and Ellie. Aww. Aww. All together now. Aww. We were joining in sneakily sometimes and making random comments on shows while we were over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rainy's asking how much should we send with a check to get cookbook for shipping and handling? Four fifty. So in the U.S., the total would be like twenty six forty five. Yes. Twenty six forty five. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So one book. Is it good? Uh, if you need an additional book. Just add a dollar shipping, a dollar fifty shipping for each additional book. It's not done yet. It's just so cooking. Amy T says, "Love that you guys had snow in spring, and we're having warm days in autumn and fall. Topsy turvy weather. We're all having." It's funny because Ellie and I kept hearing that it was going to be cold and wet the whole time we were in Ireland and Scotland and England, and there was sun almost every day, and it rained very little the whole time we were there. I think the last, 
The last day we were in London, it rained really hard for about 15 minutes. I don't, I don't even think it was that long, because we were just in Costa, <laughs> drinking our coffee. And then it was, it was there and it was done, so. <laughs> that was pretty short. Oh, so on those K-cups, I don't know if anybody knows, you can use those to start seeds. I used to use those to start my seeds. So. I'm trying to understand what this is saying. Shirley says, hey Jack, guess what? Hay is for horses. Sometimes cows, pigs don't eat because they don't know how. <laughs> Wait, what? You, you told mom, you said, hey, hey. And she said. She said, hay is for horses. Sometimes cows, I don't quite get this part. I think there's some where you were missing, but sometimes cows, pigs don't eat because they, they don't, don't know, know how. how. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? For all wow. the people that keep on having the questions about it, yes, you can freeze the dough. Just make them into balls, throw them in the freezer. Yes, you can the freeze boring. the dough. You could make up, you know, like 10 batches at one time if you want in your mixer or whatever do that yeah good enough we um it, we thought that was overpriced and we went into the nearest town and spent about half as much on eating pub food which actually the pub food is in all like fried stuff it it was actually really was good? good a lot of the pub the pub food is cheaper food pork? there and it was like uh, sandwiches and chips which are um it's kind of fat french fries and usually a salad, and that was pretty good, but it was about half the price. We thought maybe since we were on the sheep farm, we really ended up liking the sheep farmer. Maybe we should have taken him up on that, but, you know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Shirley, I see your, your thing asking about getting the post, but I don't remember seeing a previous post. Well, oh, oh yeah, I did see, and there's another one that says your posts aren't showing up. Um... Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We just so we read did it. read that one. Yeah, okay. it takes us a little bit to catch up on the comments when we're yakking. Just just because there are usually a lot of them. To oops, and I forgot where I was last. Yeah, and if you guys could give us a thumbs up on YouTube and hit the like button, that really helps us a lot on YouTube. So give us a thumbs up and a like, guys, if you don't mind. <laughs> Am I supposed to do that? Is that against something? No. I have no Everyone idea. Said. Okay. I think you can ask him to thumbs up and like. Please it. give me thumbs up and likes and because. Give me your child. And Wait. what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> get my child. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. They're talking a lot about Chicago pizzas. A number of people that order the pizzas from Chicago. Andrea's one. Lou you actually... Malinati's pizza is amazing. You guys actually order pizzas from Chicago, so they're that good. I've never had a Chicago or a New York pizza, so. Lynn said, ask Mike, but I was only in Chicago for about nine months. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was you... born there, but not didn't grow up there. Shirley Janelle wants to know, um, can you sell beans on babies? Um, you can use it on babies, but it is not tear-free. So if you just use it on their body, that's fine, but it is not tear-free. Don't start washing their eyes out with it. I wonder, yeah. Listen, Kimberly's in Arkansas. She said we got 14 inches of rain here. Ooh, wow. Flash floods. It's Arkansas, not Arkansas. Well, I guess it depends where you're from. <laughs> so let's see. All right. So over here we had some that I didn't we didn't answer yet. Let's see. Angie said I love the apron. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Allison said I watched your how to organize the bathroom today. Spent 45 minutes in organizing and cleaning my whole bathroom. Thanks. Good job. And when everyone was talking about rain and cold, Monica <clears throat> said hi from San Diego, and I was thinking, it's probably really nice there. San Diego? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and Bandana, you know how she had said you look absolutely fetching in that yes. sweet apron, Tara? Later on, she said, David, you look absolutely fetching in that sweet sweatshirt. So here's what's left of the calzone. Save it for uh -oh. Here's what's left of Kelso. Hey, Mom. Okay, so now I'm going to make Jack's breadsticks. What about, wait, can they have some of these? Hey, Mom. Yes. Cheese. Cheese? Yeah. Well, it's still cooking. It'll be just a minute. Okay, so I'm using my dirty pan because I don't feel like getting another pan all mucked uh, up. So a couple people are asking you to repeat what it is that we made today. So I made homemade calzones and homemade breadsticks. Right now I'm doing the breadsticks because just so you guys can see how I'm doing it, it's the same dough. 
Now I roll my breadsticks out on the pan ow, just to make it easier, but, or maybe not. This is a different pan than I normally, oh, I forgot this one has sides. Okay, never mind. This isn't the normal pan I use for my breadsticks. So let's try this again. Um, Barb wants to know, have you uh, tried cauliflower crust? I have not tried a cauliflower crust. I hear really good things about it, but I have not tried it. These are just breadsticks, so right? Not these are just plain breadsticks. breadsticks for the boys. Now, if you want our breadstick recipe, it is on page. Now, these are like the Olive Garden. So, if you want our breadstick recipe page, 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 M-N-O-P-Q-R. Let's see. Oh, Laurel says, I enjoy this part of the show. Thanks. Page 92. Well, thank you. Bob Honaker wants to know, how do you stay so positive? I'm guessing that's how do you stay so positive? I don't know. How do I stay so positive? I think he's he was talking to dad. Oh! <laughs> Dying I Dime Cookbook. Restaurant style breadsticks on page 92, so like the Olive Garden, okay? So what I do is I roll them out, <clears throat> and then usually the pizza cutter works easiest, but I think my pizza cutter's, nope, it's not, it's not dirty. Okay, so. Don't forget to um, I think you said something about. Uh, what did I do? I don't remember, well, Patricia says, does it help on Facebook too? And I wasn't sure if she was yes, Yes, it does help on Facebook to show us more. If you guys give us thumbs ups and likes on YouTube. And shares. Or thumbs ups on YouTube and likes on Facebook. And shares. On and Twitter. shares. And also guys, um, one other thing I forgot. We have 10 pizza recipes on our website that Mike will share the link to. Okay, so now that one's probably okay. So now I'm going to go about like this. Oh, man, you just ruined it. Oh, did you want them super big? Yeah. I'm sorry. There's no undo button now. Well, sorry, dude. Ruined okay, now let me get rid of that, my excess flour there. I'm just kidding. I can take small ones. So then I'm going to put them on my... Man, that smells good. Uh, ...tray here. Yes. Did you have a question? Just to know a lot of people. Well, a lot of people were asking to tilt the camera down, but that's already happened. I've already oh, down. Okay. Yeah. A while ago. All right. So then just fit as many as you can. Now you want to leave a little bit of space for them to rise and get poofy. Okay. Bunny loves the butterflies on your apron. Thank you. One of our viewers sent this to me. It was so nice of her. She made it herself. She made me two. So now I have three new aprons, one from Darren in England and two. And he just handed it right to us. He did. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> and Nevaeh is asking, how much is the cookbook? It's $21.95 and then the shipping is $4.50. Yes. I just, I just pasted a link in if you need to know where to get it. Now, usually I do these on two. <clears throat> oh, it's done. Okay. On two, whatever you call it, two, um, something. Now you can, if you want to make the curly breadsticks, you can twist them like this and make the curly ones like this if you want to do it that way. Okay, now let me grab Jack's calzone here. Oh dear, I got too many things going on. Um, I see. Okay, so now here is, oops, I leaked a little bit, but that's okay. Here is the only cheese one. Now, doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> Ooh, that does look delicious. All right, where did my... <laughs> it has pizza okay. sauce and... <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm just going to put this on I need the butter. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> See, Amy. I am woman, hear me roar. So now... I'm spreading butter on top. Yes. Amy T said, LOL, Tara, you missed him so much, but we won't tell him that. <laughs> That's funny. Let me throw that in the trash. Okay, boys, this needs to cool off for just a minute. It's way, way too hot. Okay? Get some extra butter. Thank you. Well, you can put extra if you want. Okay, so now 
I'm gonna let these rise, but first, okay, first. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Feel the power. Oops. Oh, <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. That's that the way it was pointed. I'll just be all buttered up. Ah. <laughs> Oh, Dolphin Man, please don't text. Just drive and listen. Thank you for listening to us. Okay, this is just regular cooking spray. So now, just a second. So now I'm just spritzing the tops. Now, if you want garlic flavored, I already put some garlic in there, but for Mike, I'm going to add a little extra because he really likes the garlic. Just really dust. Lightly the garlic. I love garlic. The boys love cheese. Do you guys want cheese or no cheese? No cheese. Okay. So then if you want cheese, you can sprinkle just a little bit of cheese on. Just like that if you like the cheese. But since the boys like no cheese. No, I like, well. Do you want cheese or not? I honestly don't care either way. Okay. <laughs> um. So now we're going to let these rise until they're doubled, and then we're going to bake them at 375 for about 20 minutes until they're golden brown. Okay. Uh, Barb has hey, asked a mercy. couple times if you ever have tried cauliflower pizza crust, and other people were saying they liked it. I have not, no. And so, so you don't I know. probably should try cauliflower pizza crust, and I'm going to try it. If I write a gluten-free cookbook, I'm going to try it because everybody just says it's the best thing ever. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that ever done. And Karina wants to know if you have to cook the dough before freezing it. No. You can, but I it's better if you, I think it's better if you don't. Okay. Let's see. All right. Give me mine first. I want the end. Oh my. Oh, thank you. Lori says, "Hi Tara, I made your sloppy joes tonight. A bit sweet for us, but otherwise perfect." You can just add less That's what brown she said. sugar. She said she'll and adjust it. Man, how big is these? Well, okay, here's another. Whoa! One. <laughs> Shirley said, I absolutely love your family. Everyone seems to be so happy. I'm a cook for a middle school here in Battle Creek, Michigan, and make about 32 pieces a day and have used your recipe. Oh, well, wow. thank you. Man, that's a compliment and a yeah, half. Yeah, definitely. Good grief. Why do you keep on saying in a half? I don't know, just to be silly. Careful, it's super hot. Where's the, where's the salt? It's super salt. <laughs> Actually, could you just put some garlic inside of the bread and it would... Mm -hmm. uh, Maxine That's says, you, will you send a cookbook overseas, please? And if so, the cost to Australia. It's $21 shipping to Australia, and yes, we do. Oh, are you okay? No. I mean, yes. Yes? Do you need some water? I'm fine. It's unfortunately pretty expensive oh. to ship oh. it out of the U.S. But we do. Don't I'm sharing the link for it right now. Okay, go over there. Hashtag don't like cheese. You don't like cheese? <laughs> oh my god, is this the reason why you freaked out? <clears throat> Dear, the problem is you don't realize they only like cheese on Tuesdays between 2.30 and 4.30 in the afternoon. And then they have to have onions between 6.30 and 7.30, but mayonnaise between 7.30 and 8.30. <laughs> We're going to Haiti for our family vacation this year. <laughs> Absolutely, I think. <laughs> Actually, we've joked around about that a lot in the past because we thought it would be a great way for the kids to learn not to complain. So, Jamie says, Mom has not transformed into a short no. order cook. <laughs> so, we had some other things. Let's see. Joan said, It's my granddaughter's 10th birthday today. Well, happy birthday, Joan's granddaughter. Yes, happy birthday. And Laura says, Love your jokes. You always make me smile. And she said, The food looks yummy. See, mm. your jokes are a hit. Mm. And did Linda give you the apron? Uh, yes, Linda. Linda she gave me the apron. She says it looks great. Those are supposed to be zinnias Yes, for you. and actually these are pretty close to zinnias. I mean, they could be a daisy or a zinnia, but I would call these zinnias because daisies don't come in this many colors, but zinnias do. So I think this is perfect, and I love it because zinnias are my favorite flower ever. They are. Uh, what joke do you want to give? So. The, Bandana, I always what? like these. So, what what score did the cat get on his test? What? A perfect score. Oh, I get it. <laughs> You're funny. Uh, 
Oh, you don't have a recipe for the cauliflower crust, right? I don't have a recipe for the cauliflower crust. I'm sorry. Good enough for what's asking if anyone wants to paste one into the description right. or into the uh, comments. Just go to allrecipes.com and look for one that has five oh, stars. Yeah. That's what I do. Doreen <laughs> is asking, uh, do you use any particular meat or is there any meat in these? You can use any meat you want. You can use pepperoni. You could use sausage. You could use Canadian bacon. You could use Canadian bacon and pineapple. You could use five meat, hamburger, sausage. Canadian bacon, ham, whatever you want. You could add any vegetables you want. Any pizza toppings are delish. So Turid said, today we planted our potatoes in the garden. Last week we had snow. <laughs> yeah. And Marianne said, I made one of your barbecue sauce recipes and was told by my grandson it's the best ever. Wow, thank you. <laughs> And Patricia said, my oven light makes my oven warm enough to use to raise dough. Yes, that is a really good trick to use because if you have an oven light that stays on, it stays warm enough to help your dough rise just a little bit quicker. Not a huge amount, but probably 15 minutes quicker. So, <laughs> David Genie said that the calzones look beyond luscious. I bet your kitchen smells wonderful. It does. <laughs> does and it I'm, smell good? I'm dying to eat it. <laughs> Barbara has a joke for you, Jack. She what? says, knock, knock. Who's there? Red. Say red. <laughs> red. Red. Wait. Red who? She says red hot pepper. Doesn't that just burn you up? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, Patricia wants to know if we've recovered from our long flight. Oh, yeah. I think. Ellie says she thinks. I'm still feeling kind of beat, but I'm not sure if it's the flight anymore. It might be something else. Now we just feel the utter doom of having to get back to reality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was thinking that while I was working. The darkness. <laughs> Ellie's looking for a job. She quit her job before she left, so she's looking for something else. Yay. So if anybody know anybody who's hiring, what kind of job are you looking for? One that pays. <laughs> she wants to do a farm or a greenhouse or something. Nova said, love your cookbook. Just recently found y'all on YouTube watching your videos. Well, thank you very much. Thanks. And let's see. Uh, Kim Kim said, Mike, you were incredibly lucky with the weather. London is usually overcast. Sunshine is one of the things I miss the most. Yeah, Kim, sorry we weren't able to get together with you, and I hope you're feeling better. Kim had a, like a I think, a, problem, a back problem mm. and had to stay. Couldn't, couldn't That's get too bad. Out. So, yeah, every, everyone kept telling us that, and they were also telling us that we brought the weather with us from Colorado. Because, <laughs> really, it was a little overcast a few days in Ireland, but it was sunny on so many days. Mm -hmm. which And it was, it almost never rained the whole time we were there for, you know, three and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Tammy says, I want a corrected version of the cookbook. Can we pre-order them while they're being printed? Are we making major corrections? Um... <sighs> I don't know if there's a, I don't know how many corrections we're making. We're not sure if we're doing all the corrections. So like there's a couple places where it's kernel instead of kernel. And like, I don't know how deep we're going on the corrections. All the recipes that are incorrect, which are only just a couple. Like two. Yeah, so far it's only like two or three. I think we're only going to correct the most major things right now because if what it's an A end? instead of a the, um, we might just leave it. Might, we might hate to it delay it. It makes it look couple, homemade. We hate to delay it a few more months for that, and 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 there aren't that many of those unless you're really really looking hard, which somebody Ooh, did. Somebody <laughs> did look really hard, and she found like 500 corrections. I'm like, are you kidding me? Not that many. It was probably well, it was five full pages. <laughs> oh, at least this cottage said you. You two do look fabulous together. Just love your family. You're very dear to all of us. Aww. Aww. Isn't that sweet? Yes. Mom, weren't there like, yes. two, weren't there like a bunch of corrections that said it wasn't a capital T and teaspoon or something? Yeah. Well, that kind of stuff is major, so we'll take care of the teaspoons and tablespoons. Jeannie says, I love it when she does goof a little. It makes me feel so much better. <laughs> uh, oh, Toby said you could make knots out of the... Yes, you could make knots, so you could, if, oh, oh! Ooh, Ashley's watching from LaGrange, Georgia. Oh, wow. We have a lot of people in South Carolina and Georgia. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of people in South Carolina and Georgia. So if you want to make knots... Oh, Donna's asking for the recipe. Donna, I'm about to You can it just again. do it like that and then let it rise and you can make little knots, so... Donna, I just repasted the recipe in and... 
It's also on the front page of our site at livingonadime.com, in case you don't see it in the comments. Um, it's a good day. Samantha says, I want to say thank you. You've helped this working mom feed her family mm. well for good food for at an affordable price. You are welcome, and thank you. Man, yeah. what a compliment. Thanks. Phyllis says Dave needs to learn how to cook as much as he eats, definitely. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to learn how to cook, Dave? I just Dave? make cheeseburger rolls every day for dinner. Um, Bandana Grandma wants to know, is the index going to change? Uh, probably not uh, this time. I don't... I don't know. We'll have to see how much work it is. Um, I don't know what to do about the index. It's one of those things where if we go and fix it, it's going to be a massive undertaking, like massive. And we may just have to be one of those things where we can't. <laughs> Louise says we need to add cheese and Vegemite. <laughs> uh, yeah. And Shannon says in the summer I raise my dough in the car. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Debbie, does Ellie like to bake? Ellie, do you like to bake? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, you know, Shannon, I there was a time where I used to take my lunch to the library, and an hour before I was going to eat lunch, I would stick it in the window of the car so it would cook while I was in there. It was yeah, Ellie funny. bakes a lot. She bakes our... Uh, in Daya Dime, we have... No what are they called? No bake fudge cookies on page. Let's see, what page are they, Ellie? Do you have it memorized? <laughs> no, it's just in um, the general direction of the back. It's just in the general direction of the back middle. <laughs> um, oh, I just found another type. Look, it's not. It's not gray. <gasps> oh. That's a type of ah. a gray box. It's only partially gray. So page two seventy four. No bake fudge cookies. Is absolutely. Let's see if I can find my copy of Dining on a Dime. Hold I mean, on. I let guess me. I don't bake those, but she doesn't bake those. She cooks them. But yeah. So, so this is my Dining on a Dime cookbook. You guys can see I actually use it. And on page two. So you can see this is Ellie's favorite recipe. <laughs> oh. Which one? Oh. <laughs> You guys can see this is, I mean, I when I say I use my book, I use my book. I mean, this is looking pretty pitiful, but I really do use my book. Dave's trying to take off. Back yes, there. Dave. Uh, Linda wants to know, Linda McGee wants to know, are you still looking to move and have you decided where? Well, we're looking, but we're not finding anything. And so we're wondering if we're going to be stuck here for a while. Because I really don't, well, I don't think you do either, but. We really don't want to have to get another loan when we're getting semi close to getting this house paid off. We don't I want mean, to be ripping pepperoni. Well, and also we have a we little have, ways to go, but also we, we have some here. changes coming with kids um, potentially moving. So one's going to college in August, so we'll have her room. She's going to be cleared out, and one of the boys will be there. And then if Me. BJ, <laughs> I want to be there. And yeah. then if BJ starts feeling better ever, he wants to move out. So then we'll have another room. But that still doesn't help with the barking dogs. Uh, Marianne says, hi, my guitar and everyone just coming on right now. She said, he's always watched us but hasn't been watching lately because her mom passed away on April 19th. Oh, I'm sorry, so, Mary. So really sorry, Marianne. Oh. We're glad we're we're glad you're here, and we're sorry that. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Janine wants to know how is Dave's foot? How is your foot? I can walk on it, but it's, it hurts right now. I he, really should be using a scooter, but. He's trying to walk on it more, and he uses the scooter about half the time now instead of the full amount. And BJ and Ellie and Jack always steal it. BJ's start... been using the scooter more, Jamie. Oops. Um. Barbara is having, says, I can't watch on Facebook, but can't comment on YouTube. That's, I, I don't know what the issue would be there, yeah, sorry, no, but she yeah. does say, I think you should do a cook-along show. Give the ingredients earlier and we can all cook along. <laughs> Too much fun. Wow, that's that a good idea. Cool. Yeah, that would be fun. Hmm. Instagram the ingredients like, yeah. a couple hours before so then everyone will be prepared. And Lisa that's said, dinner idea. here was great and cheap, pineapple salsa chicken. Yum. Does that sound like a variation of, don't you have the salsa chicken? Yeah, I have salsa chicken and dining on a dime cookbook 
On page, what page is salsa chicken? Salsa chicken. Sal, sal, salsa. Oops, nope, gotta look under chicken. Um, let's see, chicken. Salsa chicken, there is no salsa chicken. Um, Mexican chicken is what it's called on page 205. Linda McGee wants to know how's BJ doing. Page two. Yeah. Mexican chicken right there. 205. And pineapple would be yummy to add to it. Yes. What did you need? Dave, just hold on. You want more? No, please. Oh, yes. Well, they have to finish getting poofy. I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you poor thing. Uh, okay, Linda wants to know what? Linda wants to know how's BJ doing on the update. He was asking today what the signs of a heart attack were. Was he seriously? Yeah, he was doing really bad. He seems to go up and down a lot. So he'll, he'll good for a little while and then bad for a long time. He's still alive, so he didn't have a heart attack, right, that we know of? Um, so he was feeling really, really bad today. But we have tests out. He finished taking one test yesterday. That was fun. <laughs> And then on May 11th, May 10th, he has another test. And then on May 11th, we'll know what we're going to be dealing with. We hope. We hope. We hope. Um, Jeannie says, I've heard you shouldn't make the no bake cookies on a rainy day. Supposedly, they don't set yes. up as well. Really? They don't. She said her, her Dave loves the no bake cookies, too. She, her Dave. Not you, Dave. So if you, if you just really have to have no-bake fudge cookies on a rainy day, cook them for an extra 20 to 30 seconds at low altitude. If you're at high altitude, normally you'll need to add an extra 20 to 30 seconds so that they'll get hard. Now, if they fail, what do you do with them, dear? Ice cream topping. <laughs> you can make ice cream topping out of them or stir it in ice cream and it's super yummy. What? Oh, Ellie, Jamie that. says there's a greenhouse over by her. Yeah, I remember that. Now that you mention it. Is there's it still a open, Jamie? By Jamie? That one behind yeah. the coffee shop. No, it's not open. Oh, it's, it's closed not? now? Yeah, it's closed. Oh. Well, unless they're reopening it this spring, but it's been closed for a couple of years. I know. <laughs> I thought about buying it. It was for sale. Should we buy a greenhouse instead? Nope. That would be awesome. <laughs> I would you get it fixed? Not. Sort of. No. Okay. Yes, no, no next. Uh, just looking to see where... Oh, actually, what's her... Oh, Cheryl said steak and cheese calzones are good. Oh, Ooh. yum. Oh, yum. That we does sound good. steak and gravy pasties in <gasps> London. Oh, those, those were those yummy. Were good. Yum. We, we got those at Victoria Station, right? In that pasty shop over mm -hmm. by the mini Burger King? Pasty. By yeah. the left luggage, just in case you happen to go. <laughs> What are pasties? They're these kind of half moon pastry things that are crimped and they have yummy stuff inside. So Lori says, now I see why my mother always said there's dinner. Eat it or starve. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> I agree totally. Totally, totally. And Linda says, hello, hello. I'm fully home and get to see you live. Yay. Okay, so the breadsticks are almost risen. The oven is pretty cool again so I'm gonna let him finish rising and then we'll have breadsticks but we'll probably be done with the show oh my goodness we're 20 10 minutes over oops so we better hurry and see what's left here uh, yeah nifty thrifty says yes my mother said the same thing we ate whatever we had on the table and we're thankful take it or you have two choices take it or leave it says Allison oh Annoying. Shirley says my hometown is the home of Tony the Tiger and it's where all your cereal come from Wow mm. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see. Linda says, welcome back, Mike and Ellie. Yay, thank you. Ooh. And Lisa's cutter says, Ellie, love your hair pulled back like that. Beautiful. Thanks. She's the back. She made Saw it. on Pinterest today. That's Ooh. something cute. Pinterest. That is cute. How did you do that? Just like twisted it in. Pull it in, yeah. Mm. Pinterest. Oh. You gotta love Pinterest. Oh, Lorelai says, late, but hi. Hello. Hello. All right, guys, please give us a thumbs up, like, share, comment. Buy our books, please, so we can keep the electricity on and keep the show going. <laughs> we'll try to get the, the other stuff out, too, soon. So, other stuff out? What are you talking about? Well, we were going to do this book, and then we were going to re release a couple other things, weren't we? 
Oh yeah, I have a how to save on groceries we're gonna be doing soon. 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 <laughs> soon. And um, we have the next dining on a dime, which I need to send mom more chapters to proofread, but yeah, we got several of those. So thank you guys for visiting us. We love you. Visit us at livingonadime.net. Yeah. <laughs> No, dot com. <laughs> Not everybody's going to be confused. <laughs> well, we have the other one too, but dot com is the preferred. <laughs> so, yes. Awesome. Yeah, good night, everyone. Bye. See you later. All right, Thanks. have a good night. Bye. Louise says you should go backpacking around Australia. You'd love it. It's ripping pepperoni.